I'm here with part two of my 10 cards one kit video series for the Hero Arts May 2018 card kit. So let's get started with card number five. For card number five, we're going to draw in a winter landscape behind those swing set here. Um, and I'm just going to go through and show you quickly the colors that I used and the techniques that I used. Now I go through each of these techniques in depth in another video of mine called Sapphire Moon with Copic markers. Um, the colors are a little bit different, but all the techniques, including drawing in the moon and drawing in the sky around the moon and how to do the blending, that's all described in a lot of detail in that video. Um, so if, you, if this is going too fast for you or you feel you need more instruction, then please take a look at that video. Um, and when you wanna make this card, just use the colors that were in, are in the bottom left-hand um, corner so you know which, um, which colors to use when you duplicate it. Okay, so let's get back to, the, um, to our little landscape scene that we're doing here. And here I wanted to use some blue-green colors for the winter nighttime sky. I thought that it would go well with the color scheme that I chose for the card, which are some navy blue and silverish blue um, colors using some specialty papers from Tonic, um, similar to the ones that we used in part one of the video, but just instead of greens and golds, we'll be using blues and silvers. Okay, now I'm drawing in the snow drift here. And to do that, I'm using a C3 marker on the outer edge and then um, blending it down with a C1. And then I'm going to take a colorless blender and blend those lines even more so into the white cardstock so that it gives the appearance of snow. Now, the moon here, I'm showing you quickly how I filled in the face of the moon, but again, in that sapphire moon with Copic markers video, um, you can learn that technique in much more depth. Okay, so now we're just gonna add some stars or I don't know, maybe it's snow to the, to the winter sky with a white gel pen. And I thought that that bottom snow drift needed a little bit darkening up. So I'm just gonna go over it with C3 and then C1 and then um, a little colorless blender on the bottom at the end. The paper that I'm using for the swing set frame is Navy Dazzle Pearlescent Card by Tonic. And then we're going to um, put that on a backing of ice gray glacier and then put the ice gray glacier specialty paper from Tonic on top of another Tonic paper called Weave Textured Navy Blue. Um, now I just wanted to add a little bit of snow to the snow bank, so with a glue pen I added some adhesive and then um, went over it with some diamond dust to make the snow. Okay, now we're going to put the card together. We're gonna to add some foam tape behind our little winter scene panel and then just attach it right to the card base. And again, the papers we have are um, Navy Dazzle Pearlescent card for the frame and then behind it is Ice Gray Glacier. And then the um, edges of it are Weave Textured Navy Blue. So that's what's around the sentiment and then that's also what is um, the, the main card base. Okay, moving on to card six, we're gonna use some add-on products for this. So we're gonna use this big bowl die. Um, and this is a dark blue card stock that I had on hand. Um, it's not a tonic paper, I don't remember where it comes from. Um, so I stamped that with Versamark ink and we're just gonna leave this panel plain. So we're just gonna use the little water stain that the Versamark leaves. For the second panel we do, we're gonna use silver embossing powder and then we're going to heat set that. And we're gonna use both of these panels on the card. The panel with the watermark is going to be the base of the card and then we're going to cut this panel down with the silver embossing um, powder down smaller by, I think it was like three and three quarters inch by five inches and then we're gonna round the edges on the panel on the, the back panel and then also on the card base itself using one of these paper rounder um, tools that I have. Now we're just going to attach the, um, the back panel to the card base and then use some foam tape on the focal panel and then apply that on top of 
on top of the back panel. And then we're gonna use a sentiment from another one of the add-on kits. And it says, family is everything. And I just stamped that in white embossing powder on black cardstock. And then for the frame around the sentiment, that's uh, that paper is Silver Silk by Tonic. And we're going to put some foam tape behind that and then apply it right to the center of the card. So it's, you know, kind of a nice simple card if you just wanna give something nice to someone in your family for, I guess on any occasion really, you can make it for any occasion. Okay, moving on to card number seven, we're gonna go backwards from winter to fall and we're gonna use that swing set frame again and I used my wood grain die by Lawn Fawn to cut that pattern into the front of it. We're gonna put some grass right behind the swing set um, and we're gonna put a plastic acetate cover in front of that um, because we're gonna make a shaker card with fall leaves. So to make the fall leaves, we're going to take the Tree of Life um, confetti die add-on to the kit and we're going to use um, a cilantro green, a warm yellow, orange, brown, a dark brown, and then red cardstock and we're gonna cut the leaves out um, using the confetti die and then use that for the confetti inside. For the sentiment, I used the swinging by to say hello from the main kit and I just applied it right to the acetate and then heat set it with um, some clear embossing powder. You know, I haven't had the best luck with stays on ink. I know a lot of people will use that when they're stamping on plastic, but it's just, it's not my friend. So I tend to use this technique of using the VersaFine black ink and then heat setting it with clear embossing powder. All right, so I'm adding a second um, panel, a, a second plastic panel to the card because I wanted to have some leaves in front of the grass and I didn't want them to kind of fall out and get stuck in the blades of grass. So we're actually doing a double, I guess, yeah, it's a double shaker card um, so that there are some leaves that'll be free to move in front of the glass and then the rest of them will move behind the glass. And that's what we're putting together now. So I'm just getting all the confetti onto the card base and then I'm gonna take the frame and then just place it right on top. And now we have our seventh card finished and it's a nice autumn scene with lots of pretty autumn flowers not on autumn flowers, or autumn leaves. Flowers are for spring. Okay, um, I used a gingham ribbon that I just had at home. And here you go, lefties. Here is another double loop bow demonstration for you. Hopefully um, this one you'll be able to see a little bit easier. I think I got everything on screen. So um, hopefully this will be easier for you to, for you to follow. I know lefties that the world wasn't made for us from spiral bound notebooks to spatulas to scissors to catcher's mitts, high school desks, and above all crafting tutorials, especially if you like knitting or crocheting. It's very, very difficult for left-handed people to um, learn these different crafts unless they're taught by a fellow lefty. So um, whenever you get a chance and you run across another lefty and there's something that you can teach them, I definitely encourage you to do so, so that in this way, we lefties won't get, won't get left behind from all the fun things. Okay, so we're just gonna finish up the card. I just attached the bow with some glue dots. And now I'm gonna share a little video diary with you of something fun that I had done this weekend. Have a great week, everyone. See you soon. I went to an art retreat this weekend at Cosm in Wappinger Falls, New York. And I thought I'd share some of the photos and video clips of the full moon party they hosted on Saturday night. COSM is an interfaith artistic retreat center dedicated to visionary art and run by a married couple, Alex and Allison Gray. Both are artists, often combining their work, and their artwork is displayed both indoors and outdoors at the retreat center. The full moon party was a lot of fun. There were live art demonstrations, different musical bands playing both indoors and outdoors, and a big bonfire outside with fire spinners. So without further ado, let's bring on the fire spinner. Y'all know where the party at. I pick them up, lay them on their back. The chicken here in the back of my cab. Go anywhere I go when I hit the ass. Nah, baby, don't ride the bus. It's all going down, run away with us. Don't trip, never make a